Hey guys, Sarah here from Betsa Diva. Sorry about the lighting. I'm in front of a window and the blinds are creating this little line on me. But I am here today to tell you about the things to buy and not buy in December. I have like the worst things to buy and the best things to buy. And I find that really helpful for month to month to know what to buy and what not to buy. If you want this to become a series, just let me know. And right at the end of each month, I can tell you what to buy and not buy for the next month. So just take a second. If you want that, just comment below that you want that so I know. Alright, so this is going to be for December. Alright, so the first thing to buy in December is bicycles. So since most people don't buy bicycles during the winter time, it's a great time to buy. So think about this, a lot of times the best time to buy something is when it's not in season. The demand is not there, so the price is not going to be higher. So the one thing is bicycles. Number two is toys, and that is because it's going to become Christmas time. So I talked this about in my Things Not to Buy on Black Friday video where toys this is not the time to buy in Black Friday in November toys because they're going to go lower in price towards Christmas and that's true so this is the time to buy toys in December alright so then the next thing to buy is cookware okay so that's another thing that I'm going to be getting this year is cookware well hopefully if my parents buy it, but I've been asking for it. Um, during Black Friday, that is one of the biggest things. I talked about small appliances, cookware, and you're going to see that those deals translate still through December until Christmas. You're not going to see them really after a Christmas sales, but before Christmas, you're going to see great prices on cookware. And when I'm talking about cookware, I'm talking about cookware sets, like, you know, those 12-piece sets, that sort of thing. Alright, next thing is um, Blu-rays and DVDs, same thing. When we're getting towards Christmas time, those are the things that uh, places like Walmart, Best Buy, Target get the most money off of. They buy them really cheap. They sell them for a higher cost, so now they're cutting down how much they are profiting, but they're hoping that you buy a ton of them, which you probably will because DVDs and Blu-rays make perfect stocking stuffers. So this is a time to buy Blu-rays and DVDs if you missed it during Black Friday. Alright, so again, um, from mid-December to the rest of the year, you're going to see great deals in HD TVs. I actually did just buy my TV, but it was a deal that I could not pass up, and I was already planning on buying a TV during Black Friday, but if you did miss Black Friday HD TV deal, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, so it could be right around Black Friday. This is, you know, you're going to have a time to buy. You're going to see a raise in price after Black Friday and Cyber Monday. You're going to see it go a little bit up, but then around mid-December, you're going to see them fall back down, and those, they're kind of like waiting on those people that were like, maybe I should get it for Christmas, maybe I am not, and then they see the price, and it's getting close to Christmas, so they buy it. So they tend to lower the prices of HDTVs right around Christmas time for those last-minute shoppers those like impulse last minute shoppers that need something for Christmas and they totally forgot. Alright, the next thing is cars. People don't often buy cars during the holiday season uh, because they're saving their paycheck for presents. So uh, you're going to find a lot of car dealerships getting great deals on cars. I'm not personally getting another car. Uh, we're a one car family and I love my little Versa. So, but you know, if you're thinking about getting a car, December is the time to do it because they kind of have a lot of inventory and not a lot of people buying it up, but some people buy, you know, cars for Christmas, that sort of thing. Wedding dresses. So wedding dresses, you're going to notice when you hit January through March, wedding dresses are going to spike because the demand is there. People are getting engaged during Christmas, New Year's time, and then they plan the wedding, and a lot of people plan spring, summer weddings, so they're buying their Christmas dresses, Christmas dresses, wedding dresses after, you know, they get engaged, so January, February, March, and those are going to be the time that wedding dresses are going to be highest in price, so the best time to buy wedding dresses is actually in December. I honestly don't remember when I bought my wedding dress, but it was on Super Duper Clearance, so I'm happy about that. Um, you can find tools for a lower price. I will say that tools are a good deal, but um, I would wait if you need to really buy tools on uh, Father's Day around Father's Day. That's when you're going to see extreme discount in tools. But if you need to buy tools, you can you can get them during Christmas time. And I've been noticing, I've been looking at Black Friday prices. The tool deals haven't been great. Actually, Black Friday deals haven't been great 
a lot of the time whatsoever. Another thing is baking items at the grocery store. So, you know, during Thanksgiving, you're going to find a lot of things for really cheap discount that you would use for Thanksgiving. The same thing is going to be Christmas. You're going to see a lot of, you know, decorations, cake mixes, that sort of thing on extreme discount. This is the time that I stock up. I actually, little fun fact, when there is really a great price, I tend to stock up on a lot of cake mixes so I can use them in recipes throughout the year because I do notice that when you get mid-year, they're actually pretty expensive. I'm not too sure why they go up in price. Like right around June, I'm like, wow, it's double now. And that's at Winco. I shop at Winco. All right, and the last item is champagne. So with New Year's coming up, a lot of different band brands of champagne go on discount during December. So this is a time to stock up on champagne, and I love champagne, so I'm definitely gonna get a few bottles, not to drink in one night, but you know, for New Year's, that sort of thing. Now let's go into the worst things to buy. All right, so one thing is jewelry. And um, I actually talked about this during my things not to buy on Black Friday. I'm sorry about the light like right in my face. But um, best time to buy jewelry is right around Valentine's Day. And that's the time to buy it. If you find some good deals, buy it and then like give it, you know, jewelry doesn't go bad. So you can like stock up on Valentine's Day and give out throughout the year. That's what I tend to do when I know I'm going to be having to give gifts for a significant other. I tend to stockpile when they're inexpensive to give throughout the year because that actually saves me money in the long run, especially when it doesn't go bad, like jewelry, except if it's like really cheap jewelry or something. Another thing not to buy are laptops. Best time to buy laptops is actually during black <laughs> back to school sales. That is the best time don't buy laptops during December, you're not going to get a great deal unless you find a really good bundle package, but mm, they're not going to be as good as the deals you could get during back to school. So if you can not give a laptop, that would be good. All right, next thing is calendars. You wait, wait until um, the last week in December, like right after um, Christmas sales. Um, and you're going to see calendars for extreme discount or the first week of January you're going to see discount on calendars because 2014 calendars need to be shipped out because they're not going to be as good anymore. And the last thing is Christmas supplies like decorations after New Year's or after Christmas. That's the time to stock up on Christmas goodies. And what I do is I have one of those like bins. Um, that you can get an ace or whatever and I just have all my Christmas stuff so I have one of those ready after Christmas sales I buy and then I put it in and also what I do I know I write down everything I got and then I tape that list on the side of the box so I know exactly what is in there so I can just put it away know what's in there for the next year and that helps with planning and not over buying because over buying really sucks especially when you live in an apartment I hope this list helped you out make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel I will have a link to it down below make sure to like this video and make sure to comment. I love your comments. They are the best things. They make my day except if they're mean and uh, <laughs> if they're mean they still give me a laugh. So I would just love to read your comments and bye until next time guys.